Hello friends, welcome to this video. I am going to take the test, biochemical test given by carbohydrates, right. So, let us see this table. First is Mollish test, which is a general test for all the carbohydrates. But remember, there is one condition that number of carbons should be 5 or more carbons, only then Mollish will be positive. So, if a carbohydrate has less than 5 carbons, then Mollish will be negative, right. Then next is very important Benedict's test given positive by reducing sugars. So, you know that which disaccharide is reducing, which is non-reducing and what about monosaccharides? What about monosaccharides? They are reducing or non-reducing? Monosaccharides. Monosaccharide means one free carbohydrate unit present. So, all the monosaccharides, their functional group is free. So, all monosaccharides are reducing. So, can I say that all the monosaccharides will give Benedict's positive, right? Okay. Then third is Barfoyd's test, which can distinguish between monosaccharide and disaccharide. Because uh, when we will heat the solution here, then if red colored precipitates appear within first two minutes, then it is monosaccharide. And if you will do prolonged heating till 8 to 10 minutes, then disaccharides will also give red color. So, it can distinguish between monosaccharides and disaccharides that you do heating only for 2 minutes. If color comes, then it is monosaccharide, right. Then Selivanov's test, which is given positive by keto sugar. So, this test can distinguish between keto and aldehyde. Right. So, let us see this picture. Mollish test gives a purple colored ring, gives a purple colored ring at the junction of two liquids. Right. So, this positive purple colored ring comes means carbohydrate is present. Right. Then, Benedict's test is considered a semi quantitative test because various colors are obtained depending upon the amount of sugar present in the sample. For example, blue Benedict solution remains blue, same blue remains blue after boiling also, then it means no sugar is present, none. If green then traces are present, if orange then little more, moderate amount is present and if brick red precipitates then large amount of sugar is present in the sample. So, it gives an idea of the quantity, right. Then, Barfoyd's test, see this red colored precipitates monosaccharides positive within first two minutes. Then, fructose also red colored solution is there like uh, for Selivanov's fructose, it is for positive for fructose. Here also red colored solution is a positive test, right. Then, I can also show you one more test, iodine test, which is positive by polysaccharides, especially starch, due to the phenomena of adsorption of iodine on the polysaccharide and it gives bluish black color here, right. This is it. Thanks for watching and best wishes to you.